Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check a new accessory by Speedybee, which is going to enable you to easily configure and update your flight controller using your iOS or Android mobile device. The name of the new product is Adapter 2, and it is a newer and a more advanced version of Speedybee's first Bluetooth adapter that was released about two years ago and still available by Speedybee. In terms of packaging, inside a small box you can find the adapter, a 10 cm long, stylish and robust micro USB to micro USB cable, and a small card with a connection diagram. The full user manual is available online, and I'm going to leave a link to it in the description box of this video. The main differences between the older adapter and the new one are that first of all, now instead of Bluetooth, the new adapter is using Wi-Fi. The new adapter comes pre-assembled, so no soldering work on your end is needed. In addition to an XT60 battery connector, the new adapter features a PH2.0 plug, and unlike the older adapter, which supports a minimum input voltage of 6V, the new adapter supports 1S batteries. Before using the new adapter, first make sure that you are using the latest available version of SpeedyBee's app, which is available both for iOS and Android. You should note that currently, at the moment of shooting this video, the new adapter is not supported by the current iOS app, however, a new updated version that supports it will be up in the next few days. And in addition, in order for the Wi-Fi option to appear on the main screen of the Android app, I had to uninstall it and then reinstall it. As I just mentioned, on one side of the adapter you can find XT60 and PH2.0 plugs that are used in order to power the adapter, and on its other end you can find two micro USB connectors. The one on the other end of the PH2.0 plug is going to be connected to the flight controller using the provided OTG cable, and the second one is just a dummy connector which is used for carrying and storage purposes. By the way, on my device the heat shrink is upside down, probably because this is one of the first units that were produced, so the 2FC indication is not correct. So in case the micro USB port next to the 2FC indicator is not working for you as well, simply try the other one. Once the battery is connected, an LED is going to indicate the status of the adapter, a solid red indicates that it is powered up, a blinking red LED indicates that only the flight controller is connected, a blinking green LED indicates that only the Wi-Fi is connected, and finally, a solid green indicator is going to indicate that both Wi-Fi and flight controllers are connected. Using the SpeedyB adapter 2 is very simple. First, power it up either using the XT60 or the PH2.0 battery connectors. Once powered up, a non-password protected Wi-Fi network that starts with SP adapter 2 is going to be generated, and then simply join the Wi-Fi network, open up SpeedyB's app on your mobile device, and connect the flight controller to the adapter using the provided OTG micro USB cable. Then on the app press the new Wi-Fi icon and then confirm the connection. Now using SpeedyBee's app you'll be able to configure the flight controller as you normally would on your computer, and in case you're not familiar with SpeedyBee's app, this is a very capable application that supports both iNav and Betaflight. In addition, a new feature that was recently added to the app and currently only supported by the new adapter is the ability to update the firmware of the flight controller. On the left menu you can find the new FC firmware flasher option, and after clicking it you'll be able to select the firmware type and as you can see, currently only Betaflight is supported. Clicking the Betaflight logo is going to take you to this page, where you'll be able to either load the firmware online or locally from your device. Since you are not going to have internet access once you are connected to the Wi-Fi network of the new adapter, what you can do is to simply connect to the internet, and then select the firmware version that you would like to download and save it to your device. Before updating the firmware of the flight controller, make sure that the battery that you are using is fully charged, especially if you are using a 1S battery. Then after selecting the firmware version that you would like to use, press the I have connected the battery button, confirm the connection, and the flight controller is going to be updated with the new firmware. The firmware updating procedure is going to take about 2 minutes, and while the flight controller is being updated, make sure not to disconnect the battery from the adapter or to turn off the Wi-Fi network on your mobile device. So overall, the new SpeedyB adapter is a very cool and useful gadget to have, especially if you are an iOS user or you don't have a constant access to a personal computer, and by the way, in case you wonder, it is not compatible with the new Betaflight mobile application. I would like to remind you that in case you are an Android user, you can configure the flight controller using simply an OTG cable, using SpeedyBee's app, or the new Betaflight mobile Android configurator. However, neither the OTG cable nor the Bluetooth adapter support the new firmware flasher too. One more thing before wrapping up this video. In addition to the new adapter, Runcom slash SpeedyBee released this new product, which at the first glance looks like an FPV camera. This is actually a 1080p 30 frames per second webcam with an integrated microphone, 
and even though the quality of the captured footage is not amazing, it is still pretty decent, especially considering that the price of this camera is $20. That's going to be it for my review of the new SpeedyB adapter, and of course if you have any questions about this adapter or about the webcam which I don't plan to feature on a separate review, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.